Hi, I'm Miss Terry, and I work at the West Regional Branch of the Mobile Public Library. We have a monthly program here for toddlers and preschoolers that's called Create, Play, Learn. And in that program, we set out activities for the kids to do that are fine motor, gross motor, sensory, and writing. And they can explore different things that they might not have a chance to explore um, other places. What I'm sharing today is something that you can do at home with things that you have at home already or things that you can easily get at a dollar store or a big box store. Um, if you don't like today we're talking about pom-poms so if you don't have pom-poms cotton balls will work. So you can easily adapt for, for um, whatever supplies that you might have on hand. I've also added some a board to Pinterest, our Pinterest account, and it's called Create, Play, Learn with Miss Terry, and it has different um, activities that, that they can do, and some of the things that we're doing today, and then other things that I, I'm adding to that board as well. So I'll put that down below in the comment section, and you can um, feel free to check out those boards. So today we're doing pom-poms, and pom-poms is one thing that's really good for their fine motor skills. Um, all of the brain connections that they're making when they're um, little will help them when they get older. So the fine motor skills that they're doing today will help them when they're riding at school tomorrow. Um, I've got pom-poms. They're all different colors. They're all different shapes. These have little speckled pokey things out of them. They're kind of cool looking. Um, there's also different colors and sizes. What I've gotten is a muffin tin. You can have them divided by color. So we're going to put the blue. The green, that's a cotton ball. We're going to put white. We're going to put blue. And then we're going to match. Okay, this one doesn't match, so let's make sure we get it in its own color. And what about this one? And you can go through and see which ones match. That can help them with sizes, that can help them with colors, that um, they can also use chopsticks. I have another one here. Now this is going to be tricky. Unless they know how to use chopsticks, they can put chopsticks and they can use the chopsticks to pick them up. You can use clothespins. That's tricky, and that helps them pinching, will help them when they start using their scissors. And uh, let's see what else I have here. Oops, that's a green. Let's put them together. That's a blue. Put them together. And if you work with it at the same time that they're working with it, you all can have conversations about it and um, ask them. Where's the blue pom-pom? And they can point it out. And here's another thing. Here's a dark blue. Will it go with a light blue? It's the same color. You can use tweezers. If you have tongs, these are kind of tricky. If you have tongs at home that you use in your kitchen, you can do tongs. You could also do spoons. This is even trickier because you have to figure out how to get it up on the spoon and then mix it. Get a bowl. We got this at the dollar at the dollar store. They can pour them all in here. They can take their chopstick and mix them all up. And they can pretend to be making soup for you. So there's a lot of imagination and creativity that um, they can do, well, even with just pom-poms. Another thing that's important for them when they're picking them up, if they take two in this first two fingers and then they palm the other one this is called separation of the sides of the hands and they may not need it right now but they'll need it as they go to school and they hold their pencil and they're using scissors um, you can get also get an ice cube tray and they can just pick up one and put it in each of the ice cube um, spots so there's um, a variety of things they can 
do with the pom-poms and there's a variety of utensils that will help them with their different um, fine motor skills that they'll need to strengthen those muscles in their hands. So don't forget to check out the Pinterest page and thank you for um, checking our video out.